Hello and welcome to another video of our virtual thread deep dive session. In this video, I will talk about features that help you to collaborate with customers, colleagues or other departments. User-centered interface design increasingly gains importance in modern mobility and product designs to provide sophisticated experience for the end customer. Looking at advanced display technologies and the growing possibilities for human-machine interaction, we want to ensure that users are able to create a fully interactive user experience. The Thread Media Editor and the possibility to stream any HTML5 content into Thread paved the way to work closer together with HMI industry leaders like the Qt company to see how technology can work together to provide a full product experience. With the release of Qt 5.12, the Qt company introduced WebGL streaming for Qt Quick applications. This means in practice that Qt Quick applications can run in the background or on a remote host and render its UI in a local web browser. We have identified two scenarios how Fred and Qt Quick applications can be used together. First scenario is a Fred and Qt Design Studio side-by-side -side installation. We can live stream the HMI content from Qt Design Studio into Fred using the media editor and map the content to any geometry or front plate. This allows users to experience their user interface and context with the 3D model and even in VR while building and uploading the UI in Qt Design Studio. The second scenario is running a fully functional Qt Quick project that is compiled into an executable and ready to roll out. With Fred 2020.2, we deliver a small Python script plugin that makes it possible to arrange, start and stop multiple executables in the background from within Fred. Those configurations can be saved in a config file and loaded automatically next time the user opens the configuration. In addition, the plugin shows the communication port for each web stream, which then can be easily copied into the media editor. Let's now talk about Autodesk Drive. Autodesk Drive is a free cloud storage solution that allows individuals and small teams to organize, preview and share any type of design or model data. Since Fred 2020, it is already possible to upload your Fred EPB files via the web browser or desktop connector to Autodesk Drive. Users can manage, organize and preview their models and easily share them with others. Here we have uploaded a Fred EPB to A Drive already. As you can see, it is possible to preview your model directly in the browser using Autodesk Large Model Viewer. When you have Fred installed, you can directly download and start the application from within the A Drive web interface. So, in my example, I want to make some changes to the model and add another variant of RIMS. To my thread scene. Also, let's change the material for the rims to white. Once done with my scene preparation, I simply save the model back using the Autodesk desktop connector that is mapped as a network drive on my computer. After the synchronization is completed and my data is uploaded to A Drive, I can preview it, leave a comment and share it back with my colleagues. With Fred 2021, 
Autodesk Drive now supports thread smart references that are uploaded via the Autodesk desktop connector. Simply track your main master assembly to your mapped network drive and the desktop connector identifies and uploads the sub-assemblies automatically. A drive now also supports reference structures, knows the relationship between assemblies and sub-assemblies and let you browse and preview inside the file structure. As you can see, you can simply download a sub-assembly, make changes and upload that back to A drive. Another feature we have recently added in Thread 2021 to help you to better collaborate is Thread Streaming and the Streaming app. Users can run Thread on a desktop PC or a server and connect with a web browser on their platform of choice, whether desktop or mobile, and stream the Thread rendering in the browser. It is also possible to navigate in the scene, use touch sensors and interact with HTML5 content. Make sure the web server is enabled and then simply type localhost 888 or your IP in the web browser. With the Thread Stream app, we provide a web app example that uses Thread Streaming plus UI controls to trigger variant sets, viewpoints and certain Thread quality scene settings. Last but not least, we have introduced Thread Go with our latest Thread 2021 professional release. It is now possible to publish scenes as a Thread Go executable, including the 3D scene and parts of the Thread render engine. Thread Go files do not require any license and are valid up to 60 days. An export wizard helps to configure the Thread Go executable for desktop or VR usage. Set up the startup resolution and let users configure the period of validity and enable password protection. Besides that, all scene settings are stored in the published Fred Go executable. Context menu allows you to change certain settings. That's it for our collaboration features. Hope to see you in one of the next videos.